right, so uh, I've got this all backfilled, except for the ends. Waiting for um, a couple of parts right now. And we're gonna go take lunch. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Gas line is underneath here, backfilled. Here's where we gotta connect it. Right here. So we're waiting for the cutters and the pressure valve so we can uh, fill it up. But uh, I'm not for sure on the PSI on that, but fill it up and then this is all dug out, ready for cold patch. Yep. Gonna go try to find some more water right now. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good. All right, so the other one's in. The last one. But uh, we can't complete it because uh, we're missing uh, one piece. So. so we got all this pretty much cleaned up around here. It's looking good. Monday. Finish everything up. Get the cold patch in if we, uh, whatever we got to do, get that over here. So, anyway, not a bad view. So we ran into a little problem here. Um, the nipple that goes onto the gas, gas line head, it fits. But um, a connector opened it up out of the package and it is, uh, too big does not fit so that sucks um, we're gonna have to uh, go get a the adapter piece the extension and uh, so we can finish this up all over this piece it sucks all right so we've got the other well, we've got the first one finished So we're not going to finish backfilling this until uh, until we do the pressure test and uh, make sure everything's right and uh, then we'll backfill that. On to the next one. So Alex showed up with uh, the right part, so uh, now we're putting in this last piece, go back up to the truck, fire up the generator with the air compressor, and uh, put some pressure to this, uh, to this line so she holds, should be fine. Okay. Get it all pressured up, holding tight. Getting that scissor lift in there was not an easy task. We had to enter 
down at number one. And we're down at the like 26, so at the very end. Lots of makeshift roads we had to, I had to come down. So as you see, this is pretty narrow. Getting that back in here was not easy. Couldn't send any content on that because it's too busy hanging on and praying. Those little washouts right there. Luckily, we had this old cutting edge steel plate and that's what I was able to run across right there. And then all the way around this corner and over there where we're at. All these little washouts were no, were no easy thing to deal with right now. But we got all the equipment back here. We got the sheets going up. So we just gotta make our way back out now. This is 464 Crucible. Everything got replaced. The Raptors. We're just waiting to get that piece of siding right there. That corner piece right there. We may have to replace that one. That one we have, we saved it. And then the fascia, got it ordered as well. It's like a hardy material. So this is the Majestic Pines job. They got their logs up. Got the other log up as well. I'm gonna go to run to the store and get them their bolts. Get this secured in. Right here over at the Majestic Pines. Okay guys, you'll be happy to know. Got my windshield changed. I got a nice and clean windshield now. So right now, we're gonna go over to Mike's. Uh, Isaac, our mechanic, is over there. I've got the diagram for the new, the new skid steers, and we are gonna replug those. He's got to replug. He's gonna help us replug them, so that the, uh, so all the functions are gonna work for the, uh, on the machines. So let's go check that out and see how it goes. What are you barking at? What are you barking at? Don't you bark? You don't bark. You don't bark. Okay, guys. So we got the uh, schematics here. We're going to let the expert see if he can decipher it. How are we doing, bud? Hey, good. How are you? We finally made it. Yeah. Made it. Where's that? Hopefully get you okay, perfect. Hopefully we'll get you going. Yeah. Hey, you know we could we can take uh these off. I got the oh you got oh. I got the decals that go on right here. Right up. Nice. I don't know. Does he have a heat gun here? I don't know. Yeah. Probably just Might get peel, off. peel them off. But they gotta I think if you warm them up they'll come off a lot better. So here's the new babies here. 
So you can see here, Clayton added a little extension on there. <clears throat> Did you try it? Yeah. And it works good? Yep. It's gonna stay? So the old Lugong version, I, I like the hand throttle. So we're gonna try to do the controls where it's just left, right, up, down on the chute, and then on and off for the auger. And that should be a real simple setup for this this machine here. And it, to me, I, I believe it's gonna make it really user-friendly for anyone who runs it. Um, because the, the cat has a couple little tricks that you have to do to you have to like hold your finger on on the uh, trigger and use the button so it's a little trickier to to maneuver the chute on the cat it, if this one works like that it's going to be great i'm going to plug it in get it ready that bug is going around everybody got it all the guys got it I got it too huh can I connect the hydraulic while it's on should be able to Okay, so as usual, it's never as easy as it looks on paper. Isaac's getting the computer out. I'm gonna pull out the diagram for this, even though we printed it, but it's hard to read. We have both of them here, but it's real hard to read on that paper. So he's got luckily he's got the computer here, and we're gonna we're gonna try it that way. Clayton's over here. He's going to be uh, adding these extensions on here. He's getting ready to weld one right now, actually.
but but yeah, you see how it pretty much looks like gibberish right now. Yeah. So we'll just connect it. Got them all painted up, good as new. A little extension put on there. These, uh, this plug thing is still, we're on round two here. And we got everything out. Got, uh, we're still not quite there. Got the diagram for the 30, or the 318. And the diagram for this. And <clears throat> there's some kind of something that Cat does that this one's not doing. So we're trying to figure it out. This thing's only got... Uh, um, it had a bunch of blanks. So it didn't, wasn't using all the, all the wires in this plug. There's eight of them. trying to figure it out guys hopefully uh isaac's on the computer right here <clears throat> hopefully he'll uh he'll be able to figure it out okay we're back in the machine getting ready to do another test well, you can see, he struck out again. So, we gotta get a, we gotta, we don't have a 262 down here. That's a problem. And the diagram that we're, that we keep looking at is, he's either not understanding one spot on the pins or looking at it wrong or something so we just need to get an actual machine like a 262 that we've that we know works on the blowers and um, get that connected to it so we kind of struck out but this is to be continued